Okay, this is <clears throat> remote control rangefinder test. Got it installed. I don't have it permanently installed, just temporarily. But um, just testing to make sure that everything works good. And looks like everything's working like it's supposed to. This is where I keep the remote or the transmitter in one of my belt pouches. As you can see, when I put the belt pouch on, you really can't see any of these buttons. And even if you did, it'd kind of look like it was part of the the whole deal. So I can put my hands on my hips and hit the, um, the button to make it go down. And this actually has pretty good range. If I pull the antenna out all the way, I can come back and see this is a good three yards and make the rangefinder go up and down. So it's not, the further back you get of course, actually it's probably more like two yards. The further back you get course the, the worse the transmission is going to get and when you get real close it's nice and smooth so and it's good and fast so and you can hear this has got some torque to it luckily this is a metal uh, this is a set of metal ear caps so the torque really doesn't bother it and the other good thing is that there's enough friction so that when I bring my head forward the rangefinder doesn't move like on my old helmet. So I can shake it pretty good and I don't get a move, get any any downward movement. The bad thing about this rangefinder circuit or this specific one for this servo is that it's um it doesn't keep a, it doesn't keep the um the servo in torque. So even when you're not using it, so that means that <clears throat> there's no uh there's no backwards friction to keep the rangefinder up. So my old helmet, where it was fiberglass, there wasn't much friction there, and if I bent my head forward quick enough, it would actually uh, cause the rangefinder to, to slowly droop down. But I don't have that problem now. And this is run off a 9-volt battery. Now I've just got to get the actual, um, I've got to get the rangefinder put on the front. And you can see there's a little hole in the front, in the uh, stock there, and that's for the wires that will control the lights on the rangefinder itself. So, anyway... So there she is. That's the last motorized. That's the last of the wiring of the actual helmet, um, other than the rangefinder cap itself, which I'll probably go ahead and start painting the helmet now at this point. So, anyway, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Have fun.